from us. New developments tonight in the civil case against a former Faith Academy teacher and coach accused of having sex with a student. Fox News' Lee Peck now joining us here in studio with the update. And Lee, Faith Academy leaders are being accused of covering up this incident? Well, yeah, Byron, the civil case filed last week names both the private school and former teacher and coach Jonathan Sowers and says the school failed to report the alleged inappropriate behavior to the proper authorities when first made aware of it more than a month before Sowers' arrest. Free on $45,000 bond. New details tonight on the mounting case against former Faith Academy science and Bible teacher and coach Jonathan Sowers accused of having sex with a student. A civil case says the student was 16 years old when Sowers allegedly groomed, victimized, and inappropriately touched and assaulted her, oftentimes on campus, starting in September of last year. The suit alleges on or about February 2nd of this year, Faith Academy received a report from another student of inappropriate behavior committed by Sowers towards the alleged victim. Instead of taking appropriate action against Sowers, the suit goes on to say Faith Academy placed blame on the student and essentially characterized the conduct as a schoolgirl crush and allegedly disciplined the teen, advising her she would be kicked out of school if she said anything about Sowers. As spelled out in the suit, the girl's lawyers believe Sowers knew of the actions taken against the student. That's when Sowers allegedly advanced the level of inappropriate conduct against the girl, which resulted in his arrest on March 14th. They're seeking damages for emotional and physical injuries, demanding a trial by jury. Now we've reached out to Faith Academy's attorney for response and will continue to do so. Again, Sowers is out on bond, a judge allowing him to move with his parents who live out of state. Live in studio tonight, Lee Peck, Fox 2 News.